You ain't seen me, right? Today I'm off to Court Place Farm, home of Oxford City, where I'll be watching them take on Dulwich Hamlet in the National League South. It promises to be a fascinating game. Both teams playing really, really well in the league. Dulwich Hamlet have had some amazing results already this season, and Oxford City have been steadily building uh, to a fantastic league position that they're in now. As always, I'm cycling, there's my bike, and this time it's an 82 mile trip. It's gonna take me about seven hours, uh, so rather than standing here talking all day, I'm just gonna get on with the ride. I made it to Oxford City, all 82 miles, 132 kilometers, something like that. Uh, pretty much without incident. The wheels didn't fall off, the bike didn't turn to dust, the chain didn't suddenly turn into butterflies. Uh, it all worked pretty well. Uh, it took me about 104 hours now. It took me about eight hours. Uh, I set off at quarter past five today, but pretty much without incident, apart from the fact my legs don't work anymore, uh, I got here. And uh, what, a lovely, what a lovely stadium this is as well. So today it's Oxford City versus Dulwich Hamlet who are training behind me. Uh, two teams really flying in the league. Dulwich Hamlet are up to second now in the league, spearheaded by top scorer Danny Mills who has seven goals, presumably all seven of them headers. He's an absolute beast in the air. 
A player I really like for Dutch Hamlet is Jim McGregor. He's been uh, uh, he's a bit of a playmaker, plays behind the front too, um, and uh, he's had a key hand in in many goals already this season. So he's definitely one to look out for. But let's focus on Oxford City. Oxford City are managed by former Leicester City and Luton Town midfielder uh, David Oldfield. Uh, he took over in March 2020, just at the start of the pandemic, um, and he's done a really, really good job. Under Oldfield, they're playing great football. <laughs> Ruining my video, the Dulwich Hamlet players there. So under David Oldfield, Oxford City are playing some really nice football. Uh, Josh Ashby in the middle of the field is definitely a creative linchpin. Um, he's great on free kicks, uh, he's got a killer pass and uh, he's got a number of assists already this season. He's definitely their danger man uh, in the middle of the field and Dulwich Hamlet will do well to keep him quiet and keep him off the ball. Former St Albans City striker uh, Joey Acciafano is uh, the danger man for Oxford City. He's their top scorer with uh, six goals already this season. Um, when he was at St Albans City, he scored a, a shed load of goals for what was at the time quite a poor team. So uh, he definitely is somebody that stands out, although he did have a, uh, you know, not the best season at Haven and Waterlooville. Um, but he's, uh, he's, finally, he's found his feet again here and uh, he, could be, um, he could be a real thorn in the side of uh, Dulwich Hamlet. In goal for Oxford City, Ben Zazinski, he's definitely one of the better goalkeepers in the league. Uh, great shot stopper, of course, uh, but also a really good distributor of the ball. So um, uh, definitely a player that I'm really looking forward to seeing. Imposing central defender Dan Matsuzaka is one of their key players at the back. Uh, Fox of City. Uh, not only is he a great defender, but he's a real threat in the air from set pieces. So expect the likes of Josh Ashby uh, to sling in a free kick or a corner uh, for Dan Matsuzaka to try and get on the end of it. Um, so, uh, so that's pretty much some of the danger men to look out for. I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and see what happens. Now, before the game starts, I'm going to go and get a burger or pie. I'm pretty famished after that uh, 82 mile cycle. Uh, now, when I went to Hungerford the other day, uh, I was told to try one of the burgers uh, i was told they were one of the best in the league i tried it um my god uh, it was one of the best burgers i've ever had uh, in football never mind one of the best in non-league so it was absolutely fantastic they are obsessed with what they're calling hashtag burger wars uh, they want to be known for the best burgers um uh, in the in the league and when i when they saw that i was coming here today they told me to check out the burger so i will uh, now, Hungerford Towns Burger will take some beating. Have a look at what I'm showing on screen now. It was an amazing burger, so it will take some beating, uh, but I'm nothing if not impartial. So let's go and see what the burgers at uh, Oxford City, or indeed the pies, uh, have on offer. Right, let's check out the verdict on this burger. So here it is, £4.20. I have to say, it looks pretty good. I've definitely had much worse food at Wembley for about three times the cost. Uh, is it as good as the Hungerford Burger though? That's the acid test. I have to say, it's a pretty good burger. Is it better than the Hungerford burger? Oh, it's close. It's close. It really isn't far. I don't think it quite matches it though. I think it's a solid eight, nine out of ten. The Hungerford burger, ten out of ten. So, well worth coming down for the food, definitely. Uh, but uh, make sure you check out those burgers at Hungerford. I have to say that burger really hit the spot. Still a bit hungry though, so I might actually go and check out a pie. Uh, which normally I'd be a bit like, oh, you know, what's your weight? But uh, apparently I burnt five and a half thousand calories on that bike ride today, so I think I can afford it. Uh, Non-league, love it. Right, uh, let's get on with the game. football front it's nil nil uh, I do hope I haven't cycled all this way just for a nil nil score I do have to say uh, I, I haven't got a video of it but I have just eaten uh, the pie while the uh, while the burgers at Hungerford probably shade the burgers here this is the best pie I've ever had it was a steak and ale pie four pound uh, if you go to Oxford City 
get that. It's one of the best steak nail bites I've ever had. Again, never mind uh, just in, in non-league, never mind even in football. That was uh, incredible. Sorry I haven't got a picture of it, but I just ate it too quickly. Uh, right, back to the game. Well, the game's still going on behind me, but I thought I'd quickly wrap up now because I want to uh, race out of here and get to the station as quickly as possible. Uh, it's currently 2-0 to Dudley Hamlet. We're currently playing uh, injury time, of which is four minutes. So it's looking very much like a, an Oxford City win uh, today. Joe Itchifano with the uh, uh, with the first goal in the first half, and then Canise Carroll getting a low drive uh, in the second half. Um, it's been a scrappy game. There's been quite a lot of corners, quite a lot of uh, uh, tackles in midfield. Not a lot of shots, not a lot of quality, um, but I have to say Oxford City looked very, very good for their win. So I've really, uh, really enjoyed the game and uh, yeah, looking forward to coming up here again. Probably by train rather than bike though the next time. As always, I'm doing this to raise money for prostate can cancer. Um, uh, so please don't let me have cycled uh, 80 miles, 130 kilometers in vain. Please do give the Just Giving links in the description below. Uh, and that includes you, Dad. Uh, I know that you watch and like all my videos. Uh, please do donate. Thank you very much.